Hey guys, just wanted to share with you one of my illustrations. I recorded a time lapse and all, all the work on this one took me about an hour and maybe an hour and a half maximum. So I started with a um, rough sketch as you can see. Then I used um, lasso tool to create all the basic shapes. Also on this stage I'm trying to figure out what color I should use. I'm trying to base it roughly on the uh, photo references but also I'm trying to find uh, the good color combinations that I like. I think um, maybe I'll just speed up this process a little bit because this is the boring part. I'm just picking different areas as you, see, you can see and I fill them with different colors, also adjust some colors um, on the way. So it's slightly boring part but it's it's that stage uh, you need to go through before you can do fun things like texturing also as you can see i use a lot of hotkeys some of them custom some of them uh, I just like standard photoshop hotkeys i found that using hotkeys can speed up your work a lot i use i always use hotkey when i need to fill um fill the selected area with color also i use b for brush and l for lasso tool and it make it so much quicker to switch between that tools so yeah i think um learning uh, all the hotkeys well not all of them but some some very important hotkeys will definitely speed up your work in photoshop Right, so I think uh, I have finished all working on all the flat colors. Also, I keep um, I'm trying to keep every color on its own layer because it makes things um, so much easier to just lock lock the layer and apply any texture you want. I think it definitely helps to be more flexible with all the changes also if you work for if it's um, not your personal work you work you do it for a client then again it makes things easier when when your client asks you to change color okay so now i'm working on and the background i want i'm trying to add some uh, subtle texture so yeah, I think I think I ended up with this yellowish background and it looks okay to me. Then I moved to all the main objects and I'm trying to to add some nice texture to to my sheep and and all the green leaves and grass behind it. So it's a long process, um, I would say it's more like um, you just searching, constantly searching for something that, that will work. There is no way to be sure that it's going to work. So you have to try this, then try this, then try this. And people who doesn't know how, how you create um, drawings probably think you just sit and draw and it's like immediately perfect. But this is so not true. Well, <laughs> at least for me. I feel like um, sometimes maybe I should spend more time trying different color combinations or different textures. And, and yeah, so think if you have time, it's, it's definitely worth um, playing around with textures, colors and shapes. This is very interesting part when you when you are searching for something, but you don't know what it is uh, until you actually find it, and then you like, this is it, this is what I want, but there's no way to know it before uh, trying many different things. Anyway, hope you enjoy watching it. And I think I'll leave you with it. This is my first voiceover, so 
I think I'll do a better one next time, but it is what it is. <laughs> and yeah, leave me a comment. I'll be interested to know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.